but to his surprise said, the Egyptian president publicly said that Israel's activity in Gaza had exceeded its right to self-defense and had become collective punishment. The current crisis is colossal and went beyond self-defense and turned into collective punishment against the Gaza Strip, where 2.3 million Palestinians live. In fact, what happened nine days ago was serious and extremely difficult. There is no doubt about this, and we unequivocally condemn it. But wrath and hatred have been accumulating for more than 40 years in the absence of any horizon to resolve the Palestinian cause that gives hope to the Palestinians. One may question if this prospect is appropriate now instead of putting an end to the current crisis. However, it is essential to build on our efforts and actions to prevent the development of this crisis from spilling over into the Middle East region. We are doing our best first to contain the situation and prevent other parties from joining the conflict. We must act strongly and resolutely to ease tension and facilitate the entry of aid to the besieged Gaza Strip, which faces a shortage of water, electricity, and fuel. Now they face a bread crisis. I want to underline the importance of dialogue, as you are here to hear the opinions of the concerned parties and those who are aware of the causes of the crisis. Who killed Sadat and Rabin? One and why? The extremists were the culprits. It is important to work together, and I welcome you and your delegation, hoping that our meeting will be a great opportunity and a momentum to reach a solution to the current crisis. Sissi also used his meeting to again publicly correct Lincoln in front of live cameras. He said, you said that you are a Jewish person, Sissi said to Lincoln in remarks in front of reporters. I am an Egyptian person who grew up next to Jews in Egypt. They have never been subjected to any form of oppression or targeting, and it has never happened in our region that Jews were targeted. Don't forget, 